Welcome back to part six of Meet the Family. Today is going to be a challenging interview. This person often has a hard time coming up with stuff to say. This person doesn't have a, a lot of personality to, to offer. And we're, this is going to be a difficult interview because I just don't know. Er, just teasing. It's Lemuel. <laughs> Y'all know Lemuel. So, um, Lemuel is never at a loss for words. Lemuel uh, loves the camera. Um, he doesn't necessarily have to be in front of it. He's happy to just take the camera and go out and get footage. So oftentimes, he'll bring Abby back about an hour's worth of footage that she has to go through and weed out 30 good seconds so that you guys don't get bored and stop watching our channel. So <laughs> this is Lemuel. He is a, he's a really good boy. He's the only boy in the family. And uh, he's my only son, and I am so very thankful for him. Uh, tell us, tell us your name. Lemuel. Spell it for him. L-E-M-U-E-L. L-E-M-U-E-L. And do you know what chapter of the Bible that comes from? Proverbs 31. And do you know what, do you know who King Lemuel was? David's son. David's son, Solomon. That's right. And King Lemuel was a uh, name for King Solomon, wisest man in the world. How old are you? Seven. Seven. And what do you like to do? I like to help around on the farm. Yep. Lemuel is all farmer, and he is all boy. He's the only boy amongst six girls. Um, so you might think, oh, no, they're going to make him a delicate little flower. Mm -mm. He is uh, six boys rolled into one. He is all boy, and he keeps his, he will not, he can stand alone on uh, making sure there's enough boyness in this whole house. He accomplishes with one of him enough boy to offset all six of these girls. He is all boy, aren't you? And you like operating equipment? Yeah. And so you tell, is there something you want to tell us? Mm, not really. Do you like animals? <laughs> so, all the girls. I like nice dogs. <laughs> you like nice dogs. Folks, uh, don't get offended if Lemuel is terrified of your dog. It's just something about him. He's not, uh, you might see him time to time in videos, shrieking, running away from roosters. And you might think we have a mean rooster. No, Lemuel just doesn't appreciate being looked at cross-eyed. And he's, he's happy to go running out of a barn. He's not too prideful to go running out of a barn because a rooster clucked at him the wrong way. He is not a fan of animals. So that's okay, isn't it? You're just not a fan of animals. Maybe one day, but not today, right? But if you need a dozer driven, you started driving the dozer... Oh. Well, like two or three? Yeah, I think you, 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 you took the stump out when you were three. Yep. And you like shooting. You love fishing. Uh, you have no problem knowing that you're a boy, do you? And you like to get dirty. And if there, if there is dust on a vehicle, Lemuel will rub up against it and get I, it clean. I don't mean to. <laughs> it's like a magnet. You have dust on a vehicle, Lemuel will be leaning up against it and drag that dust into the house to be washed off in my washing machine. And... You know how uh, oftentimes you wash Lemuel's clothes, you know you wash them because you take the clothes out and in the bottom there'll be knives and pliers and rocks and shotgun shells and all kinds of stuff, all kinds of treasures. So how many knives do you usually carry when you're out and about? Two. Two, yeah. You're, you're not going to be caught without a knife. And how many pliers do you usually carry? One. My One. Strips. Vice grips, yeah, full size vice grips. So you're a pretty manly man already. And you stay, you harvested the whole year this year, didn't you? And you drive the big tractor? 
you didn't drive sometimes you do on tillage so just not while we were harvesting and you drove you drove the combine by yourself lots of times yeah and you done some combining first time you combined by yourself you used three mm. yeah so if it's if it's big has huge engine and wheels lemuel's your man but if it's little and furry don't come calling him okay <laughs> he's not your man so uh are them kittens kind of terrifying sometimes <laughs> nah we tease but uh you can take him or leave him he's learning to love animals a little bit more with them kittens so what about what else about you you know how to ride a bike and you ask lots of questions and you learn a lot that's the way you learn isn't it anything else? do you like school mm, when i have nothing to do yeah <laughs> school around our house school is a wintertime thing really so we get along with what we have to do, but um, we we do well doing school in the wintertime. Um, you read already? Yeah, you know how to read. Just turned seven, but you can read well. Last month. Last month. And you do some math. I'm good at math, actually. Yeah, you like math. You are good at math. And uh, Lemuel's a, a lovable fella. He's a, He's a lover, not a fighter. He's, he's happy to um, wrestle and play, but uh, he'll give you a hug just as soon as he would uh, punch you in the nose. So. <laughs> but he, would, he, he likes to think he'd fight, but he's a big old teddy bear, aren't you? So, uh, anything else you want to tell us about you? I, I like helping the garden sometimes, and I just like helping around the farm. You picked up taters good this fall, I know that. We're, we we might get the dozer out this fall, and um, I think he's going to try to kick me off of it so he can do some, but I'm still bigger than him. Not by much, but still bigger by him. Show us your muscles, Lemuel. That's pretty good for a seven-year-old. So, what else? Anything else? No. And uh, you, you love the Lord, don't you? And that's a good thing. Lemuel often uh, talks about, about uh, God and... One thing about Lemuel, and we have to, he wants, when he's interacting with people, he wants to know if they're Christians. So, and that's the way his little mind works. He, he wants to know if they're Christians. And we have developed ways that we can answer him because we, uh, it's, it's hard to be casting judgment on people. But some people, you can definitely tell if they're Christian folks or not. So since a young age, he wants to know if he should trust somebody or if he should, uh, uh, how, how much he can affiliate with that person and how much uh, credibility he needs to give. He says, well, are they a Christian? So he, that's the way his mind operates. And I think even from an early age, Lemuel has uh, respected the Lord. And he, he's been, you've been saved and baptized, right? Yep. So anything else you want to tell the folks? No, not really. You're a good boy, Lemuel. I love you very much. Thanks.